Birds 8-3. They now lead the series 1-0 heading into... Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Game two of the American League Wild Card Series coming your way on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on New York. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab in this one, Rico Jimenez. What's the word on him? Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. And now Santiago Espinal. Next offering is foul back. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Calls it in, and there's one away. So now here's the DH, Carlos Delgado. Next offering is in for a strike. Bichette leads off first with one away. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Out of here. He made him pay for that one. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Sean Green digs in now. And a 1-1. Just missed. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Struck him out looking. Well, you've got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you've got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Out to short. That ends the frame. The Jays get a pair on this homer. And it's two zip. You're watching the American League Wild Card Series on the show. Now it's the shortstop, number 99. The 2 1. Well struck right field. That one is gone. He circles the bases, and they cut into the deficit. It's 2-1. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, we could ask it for a new baseball, just like right here. And here is number 10. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. That one misses. Two and two. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado, but he played his college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft. Made his debut at 22 years old in 2013 and he has gotten himself through a lot and that one is lifted in the air green on the move puts it away for the out and stepping in the rookie left fielder number three is a one one 
Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Yeah, and coming through the minor leagues, he was expected to be the number one starter for the Baltimore Orioles and never quite lived up to that billing, but continued to fight, ups and downs, persevered, and after two free agent deals, he finally became an all-star. Bichette whips it to first, and they got him. And one and two. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to here. Danny Jansen. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Fires to first on the run. Leadoff man retired here in the second. So up next for Toronto, Joe Carter. The 2-1. Out towards left center. Number three on his way over. And there's two away. Now it's Matt Chapman. The 1-1. Good eye in that spot. Next pitch is outside. Two down, nobody on. Chapman gets a piece there. Here comes a 3 2. And he walked him. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Swing and a miss. He swung over top of the curveball. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the rookie third baseman, number 20. Left-hand batter waits. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. The flip to the pitcher covering. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Two outs, space is empty. Next to hit, Shane Harris. And here comes. And now two and two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. This ball's chopped to the ground. Fires over to Guerrero. Inning over. And welcome back. And now here is Santiago Espinal. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. At the play, Carlos Delgado. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That's out number two. Sean Green next up for the Blue Jays. Next offering is foul back. 2-2 two -two now. And a ground ball to first. And it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. He came out of his shoes on that one, but.
and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. Fouls it back with two strikes. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. Here's the rookie right fielder, number 13. And that one in the air, center field. Springer there makes the catch. So digging in, number 99. He hit a leadoff homer in the bottom of the first. Two and one now. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. A solo shot, and they slice into the lead. It's 4-2. Nice to show it off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Keep that man with that and watch it go a long way. Jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden they're back in this ballgame. Now the number two hitter, number 10, 0 for 1 so far. One down, base is empty. That's to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. That one hit to right. Grabs it on the run. Two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Next That's offering fun. misses. And it's two and one. And a pitch. Got him swinging. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 4-2. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the Toronto catcher, Danny Jansen. The 1-1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Struck him out swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. A wide to kick the pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Number 59 in position. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. Two down. Two outs, space is empty. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Pitch misses inside, two and one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy. I checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And there's a base hit to left. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Tying run at the plate. This one lifted in the air, left field. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Safely into second. He's got a double. Now the tag at third, and they got him. Here's a big power threat. Number 11, 
0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. A two-run shot. And we're level. It's 4-4. Four -four. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Well, he saw a lot of pitches in this at bat, and in this 3-2 count, he got something he could handle, wasn't fooled, did a really nice job in approaching and attacking that baseball. Now, Shane Harris. And a count one and two. Tied at four. And that chance handled. Tosses to first, and that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now tied 4-4. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number 91. Will Bichette up to the dish. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Tied at four. And that one hammered. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Bo Bichette blasts one out. And the Blue Jays. Number 64 getting ready to hit. Here's a 1-1. That one ran inside, almost got him. Fouls one off, two and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's a really good take. And a pitch. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now here is number 99. Ground ball could be two. Quickly to second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Now it's the power speed combo. Number 10. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Base hit into right center. Around second on his way to third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounced up the middle. Bichette picks it up. There for the out. Runner scores from third. And here's the catcher, number 85. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Runner at third, two away. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Zach Pop, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. On the ground to third. Chapman over to first in time. And that'll... And welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Next pitch way upstairs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the batter is George Springer. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. On the ground, right side. That takes care of Springer. Now it's Jansen to hit. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. In the air, right field, number 13 under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Three up. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Zach Pop. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And stepping in is the speedy number 59. Bounce to the right. He'll do it himself. Yep, one up, down. one down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Three balls, two strikes to count. That one the other way. And that gets down into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. A chance now to take the lead. And it ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Around third. He scores, and it's 6-5. Back-to-back -back base hits. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Now at the plate, Shane Harris. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. That one laced to center and a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. First and second, one out. And now the right fielder, number 13. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. This one in the air, right field. And a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. So the lineup flips over. Here's some real power at the plate. Number 99. For the fourth time tonight, the 2-2. Now this is in the air down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Not close with that one. And now three and two. drive base hit one run is in the throw to third not in time he's safe as two runs score in the play well he delivers in a huge spot right there well he's so dialed in i don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there very easy swing nice and relaxed this is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation eric swanson gets the ball now and the batter now, number 10. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Springer, drop step, going back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Bichette with a relay throw. Throw behind the runner that got him doubled off. Joe Carter now at the plate. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Gets a piece and stays. Steven Jennings into the game. Payoff pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Number 11 under it. Reaches into the stands. He got it. Here is Matt Chapman, a strikeout and a walk. And down on strikes, two gone now. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Two one pitches in there and the count is even.
Right-handed reliever. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. And that extends the inning. The throw in. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Adam Simber. Number three digs in down. Simber is ready. In the air out towards right center. It falls in and that's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now it's going to be number 85. Next offering is fouled back. Nobody out. Runner at first. Popped in the air. Left field. Carter should have it. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. It's softly on the ground to third. Goes to third for one. Man at first, stepping in the long ball threat, number 20. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Back foot slider struck him out. We're at the top of the eighth, and now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. The pitch. In the air, right side. Number 13. Has this one sized up? One away. Now it's the DH, Carlos Delgado. He's already homered here in this one. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball three. The other way, and that's just foul. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Number 11 settles under it. Oh, he brought it back. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Here's George Springer, and they've got the no-doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep, and fielders guarding the lines. And that is the third out of the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair, still looking up at an 8-5 deficit. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jimmy Garcia. And now the first baseman, number 11. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. And there's a foul ball. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Safe, and that's his third hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Pretty good fastball location. Down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it and hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time, though. Next to hit. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Number 13 will hit next. There's a 1-1. Oh, 
Bullpen activity starting up now. Jordan Romano preparing to come on if needed. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Lay it third in there. And it's second and third one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Digging in, number 99. One, two now. And misses inside. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Bounce to the left side. Throws to first, and the inning is over. And here we are. Ninth inning, elimination game, and they're trying to keep their season alive. They need him to get on base. He's got to find a way just to quiet things down, work his way onto the base pass so that they can have an inning and get back in this game. So they turn things over to the righty, Adrian Martinez power slider guy boo he throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement so it's tough to pick up packs and misses it's a strikeout and next for toronto joe carter and he deals the punch out there back-to-back -back strikeouts well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the ball game. They win the series and punch their ticket to the American League Division Series. The legends sweep this wild card series with back-to-back -back wins and look ahead now to the division series. Well, they really showed up, Boog, and so did these home fans. A lot of really positive energy in this ballpark, and I'm sure that had some impact at least, and this club has to feel excited moving on to the next round with a lot of good momentum on their side. And of course, on the other side, the season comes to a close. It's always great to make the postseason, but it was a short run, and I'm sure that's something they will look to improve upon as they move into the offseason and prepare for next year. Inside the show with Justin Allegri.